Today I'm going to show you how to add a subdomain to your site5.com website. My name is Ken from 4kp.com. So the first thing we want to do is navigate to the backstage.site5.com website and go through our normal email password login step. Once we do that we'll be brought to the dashboard and you have two choices here in terms of what to do next. If you just kind of scroll down, you can see the sites that are currently listed under the account that I have open. And you could select the actual website you wanted to add the subdomain to directly here. The alternate way to go about it is to click on the site admin option at the top. And once you do that, again, you'll see the listed websites here and you would select the website that you would like to add the subdomain to. So for this example, I'm going to select the 4kp.com and as I'm waiting for the site admin to open, you can see here that we have a bunch of different options on the left here. So for the subdomains, what we're going to want to do is click on the Manage My Domains and then Subdomains. Once we do that, we can actually see that it's fairly straightforward to add a subdomain. You simply type in the subdomain you're looking for. So for this example, I'm going to use Blogspot. And the reason why I'm going to do that is for a future video. So once I've done that, I click the Add button, wait for Site5 to accept that. And there we have it, blogspot.4kp.com has been added. So if I click back to go see what we have here, and I scroll down, I can actually see that all of the subdomains that have been created for this website. So I've got blogspot.4kp.com, wordpress.4kp.com, which I created earlier. And I um, created these for a future video. So I'm going to do a future video on WordPress and a future video on Blogspot. Also of interest here is you have the document roots, which you'll be able to kind of understand where the files would be put if you were going to be putting the files for each of these subdomains. Another interesting feature is this subdomain redirection. And the way this works is you select the subdomain you'd like to have a redirection for. So in this case I'll select the blogspot.4kp.com, click the setup redirection button. And the way this works is you simply type in the URL for a website that you'd like the blogspot.4kp.com to point to. It does take a while for this to propagate through the DNS, so don't type this in and expect this to work immediately. It does take a little while. Uh, it's taken hours for me to, to do that. Having said that, it's a nice feature to be able to have uh, a shortened version or a subdomain version of a URL rather than some long uh, version. So anyways, it's a nice feature it, similar to how you would add a subdomain and delete it. It also works the same way for the subdomain redirection. So if I scroll back down you can see here I have a remove the re a redirection option down here. So that's it for the how do I add a subdomain to my site5.com website? This is Ken from 4kp.com. Uh, please provide your feedback in the comments. I'm looking to uh, get this better. So I really appreciate your comments and uh, any uh, ratings that you may have for me. Thank you very much.